Once we have finished creating our design on the virtual amplifiers in Armonia Plus, we can move to the next step and match them with our physical amplifiers. Matching virtual and physical amplifiers is done under Design, followed by Match. But before we even go ahead, let's go under Options here in the quick bar for a second in order to verify that the status of our connection with the network is active. Under the Communication Manager tab, we can see the list of network ports available and we can click the play button to activate the network port connected to the amplifiers. Back in the workspace, we can now click on the discovery tool to display all the physical amplifiers connected to our network. We then select the offline amplifiers in Armonia Plus and press the call button on each one of the physical amplifiers to be matched. The same operation can be done by clicking on the online amplifier discovered in Armonia Plus and then clicking on the virtual amplifier we want to match it to. There's also a third option to match the amplifiers, which consists on selecting, dragging and dropping the online amplifier onto the workspace. If for any reason the online amplifiers present different parameters from those we have selected for the virtual amplifiers in our project, after we try to perform a match between the two, Armonia Plus will display a red and white border around the virtual amplifier, meaning that the match has not yet been successful. To overcome this issue, simply move to any other window of Armonia Plus and a new window will pop up prompting us to perform an action. We can choose between reading the parameters from the online amplifier or sending information from Armonia Plus to the physical devices. In this particular case, we want to send information from our project to the online amplifiers. Now the red and white border disappears, meaning that the match has been successful. If you have any questions about this or any other videos in the series, please feel free to contact us on support.audio at powersoft.com.